Word of Jesus healing miracles was spreading quickly. Multitudes followed him, hoping for relief from their sicknesses. But when the Savior looked upon the multitudes, he saw more than their physical ailments. Filled with compassion, he saw sheep having no shepherd. The harvest truly is plentiful, he observed, but the laborers are few. So he called twelve apostles, gave them power, and sent them to teach and minister to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Today, the need for more laborers to serve Heavenly Father's children is just as great. There are still twelve apostles, but there are more disciples of Jesus Christ than ever before people who can declare to all the world the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Be not afraid, only believe. Let us read now in Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 26. While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. But come, and lay thine hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was deceased with the issue of blood twelve years came behind him, and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the mintrals and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. And the fame thereof went abroad into all that land. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 22 to 23, it says here, And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, <coughs> Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and shall, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountains of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitudes thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing, 
and trembling, knowing that was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy play. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogues how certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and see the tumult, and then that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, <coughs> Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they loved him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand, and said unto her, Talita kumi, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. And straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. When Jairus first asked Jesus to heal his daughter, who was at the point of death? Jairus spoke urgently, but hopefully, Come and lay thy hands on her, and shall, and she shall live. But as they went, a messenger told Jairus that it was too late. Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the masters any further? Likewise in my have seen too late for the women described in Matthew chapter 5, verses 25 to 34, who had suffered with an ailment for 12 years. As you study this account, you may think of things that need healing in your life or your family, including things that might seem at the point of death or too late for healing. What impresses you about the expressions of faith in this account.